A few years after creating a cloud of space debris by blowing up one of its satellites, China is now screaming for the UN to stop such actions after a piece of Russian debris came within a hair of hitting a Chinese satellite. The China National Space Administration, or CNSA, says that a piece of space debris from a Russian missile test came within 15 meters of hitting a Chinese satellite on Tuesday, January 18th. CNSA officials say they tracked the piece of debris hurtling past China's Tsinghua Science Satellite at a relative speed of 19,000 kilometers per hour. The piece of space junk is part of a debris cloud that contains around 1,500 pieces that are big enough to be tracked via Earth-based radar. The cloud was created when an old Russian spy satellite was blown apart by a Russian anti-satellite missile in November. Experts say the cloud of Russian debris will cause chaos for spacecraft for decades to come. The CNSA said the piece of debris was getting closer and closer to the satellite each time they completed an orbit of Earth. The two objects seem to be moving farther away from each other now, but the CNSA says that actual collisions between the pair could very likely happen in the future. CNSA officials say international laws and regulations must be passed under the framework of the UN to stop actions that increase the amount of space debris. Apart from Russia, China, the US, and India have also used missiles to blow up satellites, creating massive clouds of space debris that orbit Earth and endanger spacecraft. The International Space Station was forced to maneuver out of the way of space debris more than once in 2021, while China's Tiangong Space Station recently had to maneuver to avoid getting hit by a SpaceX Starlink satellite. A piece of space debris not much wider than a millimeter has smashed a hole through an important part of the International Space Station. Here are the details. Science Alert reports that a piece of space debris has hit and damaged part of the International Space Station. Photos released by NASA shows a small hole that had been punched through the station's Canadarm2 robotic arm. The arm has been a fixture on the ISS for 20 years. It's a multi-jointed titanium robotic arm that can assist with maneuvering objects outside the ISS. It's unclear exactly when the impact occurred. The damage was first noticed on May 12th during a routine inspection. NASA says the robotic arm seems to be working normally despite the damage. The space debris problem does seem to be increasing. Last year, the ISS had to perform emergency maneuvers three times to avoid collisions with space debris at its altitude of around 400 kilometers. An estimated 130 million fragments of man-made material smaller than a millimeter are orbiting Earth right now. Over 23,000 pieces bigger than a softball are being tracked in low Earth orbit to help satellites and the ISS avoid collisions, but the millions of smaller fragments are too small to be tracked. Earth's superpowers have added to this space debris by blowing up satellites with missiles in the past. The latest to do so was China, who blew up one of its orbiting satellites in 2007, adding more than 2 million pieces of scrap larger than a millimeter in size. In Earth's orbit, small fragments like that can travel at speeds of around 32,000 km per hour, each with the potential to cause more damage than a shell fired from a tank. Russia has conducted a controversial missile test in space, with consequences for the International Space Station. Here's what you need to know. A Russian anti-satellite missile test blew up one of its own satellites on Monday, November 15th, according to the BBC, resulting in 1,500 pieces of trackable orbital debris and causing astronauts on the International Space Station to shelter in capsules for safety. Political reports that Russia did not warn the U.S. about the test in advance, and subsequently, the seven-member crew of the ISS, which included three Russian cosmonauts, was instructed to shelter inside the Soyuz and Dragon crew capsules for two hours, according to NASA. The space station is now passing through or near the debris cloud from Cosmos 1408 every 90 minutes, though there is no need to shelter beyond the second and third passes. More broadly, the BBC says space debris is a rapidly worsening situation, with roughly a million to 1 to 10 centimeter objects floating in uncontrolled orbit of Earth, and Time magazine pointing out that much of it is moving at over 17,000 miles per hour. Part of the explanation for this is that Russia is not the first country to shoot down a satellite in this way, with India, China, and the US also having done so previously. However, the BBC also points out that space junk is a much broader phenomenon, arising from 64 years of activity above our heads, and this was emphasized in May this year, when NASA released photos of a small hole that had been punched through the ISS's Canadarm2 robotic arm by an unknown piece of debris. NASA said the robotic arm worked normally despite the damage, but the ISS also had to perform emergency maneuvers three times in a year before that in order to avoid separate collisions, according to Science Alert, 
And unfortunately, while larger pieces of debris can be tracked to help with this process, millions of smaller fragments are too small to be tracked. There are currently more than 160,000 pieces of space junk floating in Earth's orbit, and 34,000 of these are no longer than 10 centimeters. These pieces move at incredible speeds and pose a real danger to all current and future spacecraft. The BBC reports that the world's first test satellite that uses magnets to gather up space junk will launch this week. The test satellite is called ELSA-D and it consists of two spacecraft, a 175kg chaser and a 17kg target. These two units will go up together on a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan and once in orbit, separate to play multiple games of cat and mouse. The chaser will use its sensors to find and chase down the target, latching onto it via a magnetic docking plate. It will then release the target for other capture experiments. The tasks will become increasingly complex, with the most difficult maneuver requiring the chaser to grab the target as it is tumbling. Ultimately, the chaser will grab the target and drop out of orbit to burn up in the atmosphere. The company that created the LCD test satellite, Astroscale, says the next phase of the program would be to retrieve multiple pieces of debris in a single mission. The company expects to launch this mission by the end of 2023. China used a strange way to complain about Elon Musk's Starlink satellites doing to the Chinese space station what China had been doing much worse to the ISS since 2007. Here are the details. The Guardian reports that China has complained to the UN about having to maneuver its space station twice to avoid it getting stuck by some of SpaceX's Starlink satellites. In a report that Beijing submitted to the UN's Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, China complained that its space station had to use collision avoidance procedures in July and October to avoid a collision. China also called on the US to bear responsibility for the Starlink incident. This comes only years after China used a missile to blow up one of its satellites in 2007, causing a huge cloud of space debris that forced the International Space Station to do collision avoidance maneuvers multiple times to get out of the way of Chinese satellite debris. Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, told The Guardian that China was not innocent when it came to creating collision risks in space. He also said that it was highly unusual for a country to lodge a complaint through what he called an informational bulletin to the UN. Meanwhile, Chinese state media outlet Global News claimed that so-called experts said the two incidents show that Starlink satellites were being used by the U.S. to test the Chinese space station's ability to respond and maneuver. Some U.S. observers believe the complaint was created as an excuse to suppress Elon Musk's Tesla car company's market share in China. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.